Tash Bandicoot on the Jammer line. She also jammed uh, previously today. They already played uh, Madrid, uh, a game they lost. Um, so Windsor played uh, 105 against uh, 167. Uh, but Crash Benicoot has regained her strength and takes the lead against uh, the uh, Quad de Paris. <coughs> Number two is jamming for Le Quad de Paris, that is Flash McQueen. Uh, a penalty and uh, number two is, is waiting for her offense, I believe. Uh, and it's a power jam already, a power jam for um, Les Bouch La Boucherie de Paris. I'm wondering, is it a theme this today that to, to start off again directly with a power jam? I've seen it like happen two, three times today that uh, immediately people uh, give a power jam or uh, there is immediately a power jam. We have a full house in the penalty box. Quick footwork there by number two, Flesh McQueen. And um, I believe that was an illegal re-entry, but okay. And uh, so Flesh McQueen being recycled. Uh, and uh, that's also that also counts for uh, Tash Bendikut. What a quick game to start off with. We are looking at Flash McQueen's uh, second uh, second uh, scoring pass. Uh, this is, will be the second scoring pass for Tash Bendik Bendikut, who already got a, herself a penalty. Um, a bit of a struggle there, a full wall, mm -hmm. ready to play, a, s a heavy start for both teams, 13 against 5, 13 for uh, our girls in uh, red and uh, 5 for our girls in blue. On the Gemma line now for it's a 91 uh, Timney. She played pivot last match. Uh, she's a pretty good pivot, and uh, yes, she and uh, she manages to get through, get herself lead. And uh, that moment, the girl from Paris 31 Zapir takes the lead from her as well. Uh, well, takes. <laughs> gets through the pack as well. And then uh, Timmy is pushed out, uh, so she has to call off the jam. Rosie, rocket pants on the tra track as a pivot. No blockers in the penalty box. That's what I like to see. And uh, we're ready to play. Nice offensive work there by number zero, Miss Zero, Miss Justice, but not enough to get number 31 uh, Blumpied through. We have number 268 as the lead jammer, Chula, whoops. Scoring uh, two points for her league, 15 against eight. That's nothing, people. Everything can happen. <laughs> A bit of pushing and pulling by the jammers there on the ins on the jammer line. Two 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 manages to push out the jammer and. Uh, the jammer for uh, Windsor is stuck behind the Paris wall. 1-1-2, one, one, that is Fletcher. Number 13 also has a difficulty passing, that is Boulou. 
stuck between those two. Two, 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 we've seen her before. She does a great work with uh, uh, chasing the jammer and then pushing her out uh, right at the end. She's also a pretty strong offensive player. Jammer uh, Fletcher having some difficulty. There's a bit of a confusion between the players and 1-1-2 one, one, thought she was going to the penalty box, but she isn't. And uh, she's pushing that wall for France. This is not an easy game. You can see that the Jammers have pretty, uh, they have a lot of difficulty uh, getting past. That would have been a great star pass. Uh, Fletcher trying to pass the star to 2-2-2. Uh, two, two, two. Uh, uh, that is uh, Riley Cyrus, but it was an illegal proce procedure, and so she had to throw it on the floor. But now Fletcher does get a penalty. She's going to the penalty box uh, with the cover on. This means this is a power jam for Paris. Number 13, Bolu, is trying her hardest. Nice offense there. Too bad the gem, gem timer ran out. And we are looking at 34 points for Paris and eight for Windsor. But in Derby, anything can happen at any time. So we'll see how this continues. A team timeout for Windsor. A bit of... Uh, talking about how everything has to go. So today we are sponsored by a Sucker Punch Skate Shop. They are a, sucker, a skate shop in Ghent. So if you are there, you should look them up. They are uh, in Belgium, the shop, the shop to go for, for all things Derby. The, lady who owns the shop, Miss Miyagi, is also a derby player. She plays for Lille currently, and uh, she knows what's what, and she will give you all the right information, might you need it. We're looking at, at the gym position, uh, on the jammer position for Windsor, that is, again, Tash Bandicoot, and, um, I don't know for sure who it is for Paris. Tash Bandicoot pushing on the inside, taking on the outside, but the wall for Paris recycles pretty fast out of play. Uh, oh, or no pack. Four, three, six for uh, Machine Gun Betty jamming for uh, Le Quatre de Paris. She pushes through. And she pushes number 42 to floor. Getting a forearm penalty, which means uh, Windsor will start with a power start. Uh, that's a pretty good advantage in the Royal Derby community. It's best play you can get almost. But it's a full uh, play. A full wall for both teams, only the jammer for Paris is in the box. We are looking at 34 for Paris and 11 for Windsor. On the, jam the jammer for Windsor is Timsey, number 91. And she has a lead. A quick call for number 80 for the destruction of Pack. Timsey trying the outside, pushing the wall out of play, and she's through. A quick game, a lot of resetting, not a lot of playing together. 
And so 4-3-6 pushes herself past the wall. Machine Gun Betty. She has also jammed in the previous game against Madrid. As I was saying, uh, the, both of these teams won their first game today. Uh, lost their first game today, I'm sorry. Royal Windsor Roller Girls played Madrid uh, and uh, Quad de Paris lost against, uh, also against uh, Roller Derby Madrid with um, 155 against 111. So Madrid made a very good impression here and those teams really have something to prove now. 31 for Blue against uh, the number 268 for Paris, 268 Shula Oops. Scoring one point for Paris. So we already had a long day today. We started off at nine o'clock with uh, Madrid versus the quads. As I said, the win went, went to Madrid. And then we had non-stop games until now. And then there will be another game later today, half past seven, Amsterdam versus Namur, both winners at their first match. So we'll see what happens. Lead goes to number two for um, Le Quat de Paris. Flash McQueen goes with the lead status. And uh, we have number 10 going to the penalty box for uh, Royal Windsor Roller Girls, Tash Bandicoot. And uh, we have a power jam situation for Paris. This is not the right time for a power jam. Uh, Paris uh, already has a bit of a lead and they will take every opportunity. Because as I said, the teams all need uh, to prove something here today. That was a nice offensive move there by number 31, who... Uh, nice. Number two scoring uh, 10 points for France, uh, for Paris, not for France. Uh, th they are not Team France. They are Team Paris, though. Les Quats de Paris. Uh, so uh, 45 against 20 is uh, the difference is uh, the points now, are the points now. 25 points differential between the those, both teams. Still 18 minutes on the clock, so we still have time to uh, fix this. 4-3-6 again on the general line. Being recycled almost uh, by her own wall. Tash Bendikut, what a quick game this is. Look at that pack all spread out over the track. Um, it must be so confusing. I, I'm really happy that I'm not riffing this one. Uh, so Tash Bendikut is uh, making the most of it, using all of her strength to push that Parisian wall uh, away, scoring the five points. And then we have uh, we have Machine Gun Betty stuck behind the wall for Windsor, going from one place to the other, trying to open up the wall, seeing a place. And a star pass to number 17, the pivot for Red, that is Petit Tonnerre. That last jam was a win for Windsor, not 2 9. One blocker in the penalty box for Windsor, number nine. That is. Do, do, do. Let me look that up for you. Rosie Rocket Pants. She already had a fallout in the previous game, so we'll see what happens. Whether she pulls through today. Number 268 for Paris, jamming, uh, that's Chula Oops. And uh, 112, uh, that is Fletcher for Windsor. Fletcher. Such a British name. 
Another jammer to the penalty box. One, one, two, one, two, one. Love lock. Lead goes to Paris. Chulopes. I'm sorry if, if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Fletcher is in close pursuit. Some offense there by 1-1-1. One, one, one. That is uh, Tronchatoro. And the jam is called off. Three points for Perez, uh, not for Windsor. Pretty, pretty evenly matched, I believe, these those, those two teams. Um, the score doesn't really reflect uh, what's happening on the track. Uh, we'll see what happens if the game continues. And if Paris has the strength to continue this uh, like that. Number 91, that is... Um, uh, oh my god, Timney taking the lead for Windsor. Passing all of those blockers on the track and scoring the four points. That means she also gets the points for those in the penalty box that are two. So uh, also she freezes those two blockers in the box, which means that um, the next gem, they will start with a, a very big advantage for all of themselves. Two players only for Paris. Number 222 already ready to uh, show the world what's what. And playing a nice offensive move. Too bad number 6-8 was in the way uh, and pushes her, 6-9, uh, I'm sorry, and pushes her out. Jam goes to uh, Paris. 1-1-1 one, 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 uh, Ton Chateau. In quick pursuit, we have our 31, the Pierre. Team timeout for the red team. Both teams are doing a great job. The difference between the teams gets a little smaller. We're looking at 15 points difference between them now. The win uh, or the most points are for Paris with 48 and 33 for Windsor. Uh, also, our announcer to take a little time to have a little drink, to have a little swirl, and to uh, catch their breath because it's a quick game. So, not only for us as announcers or you as a watcher at home, but also for our Officials, it's going pretty, pretty quickly. A little reset for Paris and uh, a full wall, both teams. We'll see what happens next. Number 112, Fletcher is jamming for uh, Windsor. She takes the lead. We have two six eights jamming Chulaups for Paris. Battling that last blocker, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. She is the one to look out for. She is not the lead, but she passed the pack. And Fletcher tries to wrap herself around the last player uh, and uh, tries to score that point. And she does, she does it. So it's uh, four to not for uh, Windsor. And again, the difference between the toes, both teams gets a little smaller, just a teeny tiny bit. In the corner, I don't know if you can see this, but in the corner you see, can see Amsterdam warming up. <laughs> Number 31, uh, jamming for Paris. 
That is Zupir. Uh, she manages to uh, lock number 10, uh, Tash Bendikut, uh, behind the, her wall. And again, number six, uh, 69 is very good at the recycling bit. Um, Tash Bendikut uh, does the star stash. And uh, in the meantime, number 31, uh, Blambit, no, 31 from the other team. Zupir is pushing her way past the Windsor walls, trying to get that whip for uh, from her teammate. Only two blockers on the track uh, for Windsor, so it is a nice way to call it off. So we start with two blockers in the penalty box and two blockers on the track, and the two blockers have already played, so they are a little bit tired. Well, at least they can rest now. Half a minute in the penalty box should suffice for a derby player. We have Tim Z on the jammer line, uh, number 91, and 1111 for Paris. Trop Chateau! Tim Z pushing her way past. Ton Chateau also battling. We have Tim Z taking lead, but she has, she's in bad luck. They only have one player on the track for Windsor. <laughs> Paris scoring no points there, uh, but two points go to Windsor. Another 11 minutes to go on the clock. Again, two blockers for... Uh, two blockers for... Winter started in the penalty box. But still, it's number 31 who managed to get lead. But in close pursuit is number two for uh, Paris, Flash McQueen. Look at her go. And number 31 is going to take that one point. And yes, she does. One point for Windsor, zero points for Paris. One jammer in the penalty box for a Windsor. And uh, again, it's really nice to see how Paris, uh, the Paris jammers, especially this number 31, Zupir, always uh, checks, with her, checks with her wall. Do you have her? And then she passes on through. She never just leaves it, because maybe the jammer will follow. So she uh, really tries to battle it out. Zupir. Pretty agile player uh, calling it off here. She had lead. Uh, uh, we had uh, Fletcher stuck behind her wall. So she's had a little time to play with it. Three to not for Paris. Good job there. Quick switch from offense, uh, from defense to offense as well. <laughs> well, there are some enter people in the crowd as well. And uh, again, two blockers in the penalty box for Windsor. Uh, I think if they would close that gap on their penalties a little and make sure that they have an empty penalty box when they start, this battle would be a lot more tight, uh, seeing as they only have 16 points difference. And it, it really might, it, it might really be uh, that big of a difference. Uh, Machine Gun Betty battling her way through, but it is Tash Bendikud who takes the lead for Windsor. Machine Gun Betty trying her best, getting some offense from the front. A penalty for number eight. That is... Um, or number nine, I'm sorry. Rosie Rocket Pants. She has, uh, as I said before, she already had a fallout. 
last game. And this is her, uh, I don't know what, how many penalties she's already had, but it's quite a few, so better watch out or you'll lose your skates. We are looking at a point differential of 12 points, 56 to 44 in favor of Paris. Um, Flash McQueen on the penalty box and Timzy, uh, no, Flash McQueen on the general line together with Timzy. It's Flash McQueen who takes a quick lead, but Timzy is not impressed and she battles her way past those walls for Paris, but they're quick in the recycling as well. It's really nice to see. Nice turning. Ay, Flash McQueen gets a back block. This is not the right time to give away a, a power jam. Timzy struck that Paris wall, getting around. And uh, her offense disrupts that Parisian wall, but they've still managed to push her out. Good offense there by, done by her team, making sure that she could not be recycled. And, uh, but again, she's pushed out and she has to be recycled again. In the meantime, number two for uh, Paris, Flash McQueen is back on track, uh, going for the link between those two players. Ooh, nicely stayed in bounds there on the outside, tiptoeing her way past those uh, blockers, scoring the four points while Team Z is stuck in her uh, in her uh, scoring pass. Ooh, five points there. Jammer that point. It's um, number nine, uh, Rosie Rocket Pants takes the, co takes the cover. Nice chuking there done by number two, Flash McQueen. Great work. Uh, this is a gem, 13 to five for Paris. Paris had a power jam against, and they still want that gem. That's great, that's good work, congratulations. I thought the gap was going to be closed, but the gap has only become larger in favor of Paris. And it's 69 against 49 now, 20 points differential uh, for in favor of Paris. And uh, we'll see what happens next. We have uh, the jammer for Windsor in the penalty box. It is, as I said, number nine, Rosie Rocket Pants. She was the pivot in the last game and is now the uh, jammer because she got a star pass and uh, she's not frozen in the box. There is no pivot on the game play for... Ah, sorry. Ah, okay, the pivot stashed, the pivots, I've never seen that before. So the pivot saw, stashed uh, her pivot cover. It's uh, number zero for Miss Justice. Uh, Rosie Rocket Pants uh, passing her way through. And the jam has been called off. Ah, okay. So number zero had uh, no time to put on the, the pivot cover. Miss Justice. Um, so then there is no pivot on the track. Luckily now they do have a pivot that is 2-2-2 two, 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 uh, for... Uh, oh, whoa, wait, oh my god. Sometimes I'm confused of myself. Oh yeah, it's 2-2-2 two, two, two for uh, Riley Cyrus. 4-3-6 Machine Gun Betty going for a lead. Number three one struggling a bit um, with that wall uh, that's blampied, blampied. I still have trouble saying her name. I believe that she has given the star to 222. Two, two. That is uh, Riley Cyrus, who is now battling that Parisian wall, who defensively are really, really strong. I like uh, that they, um, they have a strong defense who works really nicely together they are there's always uh, they're always ready to catch that jammer it's it's really nice to see how well they work together in the meantime uh, their jammer is uh, machine gun Betty is struggling a bit to uh, 
fix that scoring pass. She does have to remember that she is uh, lead in this jam and uh, that she uh, cannot call off the jam, especially now when number 222 for uh, Windsor was coming so close. But she, she called it off, scoring the full five points and uh, no points were scored by Windsor, bringing the point differential up further. But uh, think about it, the, there is no uh, team yet that crossed the 100 barrier, even not that close. So that means that these teams are really uh, caught up. And that means that it's a mental game. So it, when it, it turns out to be a mental game, you have to be mentally the strongest and you have need to have that winner's mentality to uh, battle it out for that for every point and I believe that that is what Paris is doing so nice I love it when that happens so you see that number 82 got a cutting the track penalty on the jammer of uh, Windsor that's Fletcher so Fletcher was pushed out on the outside line and then uh, she uh, she went back on the inside which made it hard to see for the, the jammer which person she had to be behind and so she stepped right in forgetting that on the inside line there was uh, a player there uh, and so she got edge cutting the track penalty which is a, a very good move and I for me I saw it first for the first time uh, at a team Belgium game and it was done by Bundy Nelson who plays for uh, Brussels Pixies as well. She does that with so much allure and so much grace. It's um, it's great to see. This jam as well goes to uh, Perez. Uh, no points were scored in that last scoring pass, but we still have five points uh, scored for Perez and zero points scored for Windsor. So you have 88 points for uh, Perez and zero point uh, and 49 points for Windsor. I believe this is. I believe that these teams are really matched up together and they're really close together. But um, it's really mentally who is going to win this game. And lead goes to two six eight for Paris. That is Chula. Oops. And uh, she's battling ten Tash Bandicoot. She was calling it off, but it wasn't really sure, and I, I understand the confusion for the referees. But she called it off in the end at the right time. She scored two points for Paris, and zero points were scored for Windsor. And we have uh, Machine Gun Betty uh, playing against uh, Number 10, uh, that is uh, Tash Bendikut for Windsor. There is an opac. Tash Bendikut takes the lead. And uh, a cutting the track penalty for a 4 3 6. Uh, that is uh, Machine Gun Betty. First start of the half, and we have a power jam in favor of Windsor Roller Girls. Uh, Royal Windsor Royal, Royal, Roller Girls. We'll see what happens next. Uh, there is a strong offensive play there done by Windsor. Obviously something they are playing right off the playbook. And they freeze the jammer in the penalty box. It's something they do more often. Uh, then they take one scoring pass through strong offensive work call it off, jammer in the box. And so they have a good fresh start for Fletcher. And again, number nine is in the penalty box. That is a Rosie, uh, Rosie Rocket Pants. A full offense there for Fletcher. She struggles against that wall. And in the meantime, number 436 is on the track and in close pursuit of Fletcher. So it's a 
Gemma on Gemma. We'll see who uh, will get through. Fletcher calls it off. Not willing to see who will take the most points home. So zero to zero for this gem. Yes. So in that last half, uh, no one got over that 100 point margin. For me, that's always an indication that it's pretty close and that even though uh, the one team is higher up than the other, it still means that it, they have to fight for every point. As you can see now, um, the defensive work is strong, the offense work is strong. Uh, number two, uh, Flash McQueen, is uh, pushing her way through. She has lead. And uh, number 31, uh, Galampede, is entering the pack. And so uh, Flash McQueen is uh, calling it off. She probably had to wait for her coach uh, to call it off a little or wait until the final moment because they are starting with two blockers in the penalty box. And that is, of course, a, a huge advantage for uh, the Windsor girls. And um, uh, in this case, uh, especially when you have a jammer like uh, 91 up against you, who is a strong jammer, a pushy jammer, and therefore can easily push your two skaters uh, out of play. But then you should not be recycled to the back. In the meantime, uh, the jammer for Paris is uh, trying her best to get past. That's number 31, pushing that full wall. Um, that's Zupir. Uh, she has already done some beautiful work here today. But the lead goes to Timney. That's 91 for Windsor. Push outside for. <laughs> oh, that was a nasty fall. Uh, we'll see what happens next for it. An official review has been called. Uh, it's probably about how many points did each score, although Paris was still on their initial pass. Um, so in the end, we're looking at 94 in favor of Paris, 64 for Windsor, so 30 point differential. As I said before, that's nothing. It can change any day, anytime, anywhere, uh, really. We are sponsored here today by Rydell Skates. Uh, they are also attending the tournament and we're happy to have them. They've been in the skater business for 70 years. So if you're looking for good skates, I bet they know what that means. And find out more about all of their skates on RydellSkates.com. Qua Roller Skate Shop is Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby skate shop and sponsors many European roller derby events. Find out more about their products and their shop, and their shop at squadrollerskates.com. Derby Shop is Amsterdam's derby shop. Uh, the derby shop. Because roller derby saved your soul about wrecks all your gear. And your gear also smells. I'm telling you this, your gear smells. Yeah. So, stop it. Wash it. Everyone should wash it out. Or buy new ones at derbyshop.com. Not the, 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 the derby shop, but the derbyshop.com. Derby addicts have helped produce the great skater on shirts and are here this weekend. They'll be launching a big promo on their website at derbyaddict.com this weekend. So use the code at skateround. 2017 and get 15% off your purchase. That means derbyaddict.com, 15% off your purchase. Yeah, I said it. Official review seems to be done. Uh, we have on the general line 111 for Paris. That's trop chocato. She has been jamming for a few times. She has not uh, done that in the previous game against uh, number 10, uh, Tash Bandicoot. And one of their players in the penalty box that is the pivot, number 6-2 for Paris. There is no number 6-2. And Tash takes the lead 
tranche à trop, off to the penalty box. So, a lead, a power jam for Windsor. What will this mean? What will this mean? 30 points differential. Nice work there, done by Tash Bendikut. Pushing her way through, pushing them out of play. They're trying to goat number 17. Uh, that is Petit Conner, Conner who plays pivot. And uh, Tash Bendikut pushes through, nicely done. And for this time, uh, Windsor did not choose the idea of uh, getting it, of, um, of freezing the jammer in the penalty box. So uh, there was a possibility for uh, Le Paris, uh, Les Quats de Paris, to uh, do a uh, to uh, do a star pass to number 82, who's now working on her scoring pass. Number 82 is Mortadelle. And uh, Tash Benikud is being recycled while number 82, Tash Adel, is, uh, no, Mor Adel, is uh, battling or getting her way across. And then Tash Benikud decides, eh, I've had enough. We're looking at a gem, four points to 16. Uh, a closer differential, six, uh, so 12 points between the two teams, so anything can happen. 98 for Paris, 80 for Windsor. What did I say, 12? I mean 18, of course. I can't count, I told you this before, I was not lying. So four to 16 for that last jam, that was impressive. Nice work there done by Tash Bendikut. Uh, and also, sadly, a, uh, a power jam, which is uh, obviously not the right time. Uh, there's never a time for a roller for that, really. But So, Les Quats de Paris, or La Boucherie de Paris, had a team timeout. And they are already to get this party started. It's Flash McQueen on the Gemma line against Timney, who is to now, who is now with this game a set Gemma, who was the previous game, she was a pivot, and I think she jammed maybe once or twice, and then she got a few star passes, but now she is actually playing a set Gemma. I haven't seen her on the track as a pivot, I've seen her on the track as a Gemma. And uh, this is what the game will look like. Uh, there is uh, some offense going on, some counter offense going on. Nice switch from offense to defense, from defense to offense by the Parisian uh, wall number 80, particularly. That is Chef One. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. I don't do it on purpose. I don't speak French very well. And then number two. Flash McQueen bumps up against the wall for, uh, for uh, from Windsor and does not manage to get through. So she does not get uh, to uh, score any points. So zero to zero for the next jam. It's close, people. It sure is close. Yeah, that's right. And we have on the Gemma line, Machine Gun Betty against Fletcher. What Gemma in the box? No, no Gemmers, in, no people in the box. We have a set offense there by 82, uh, who is also Pivot, who is then immediately pushed out, uh, taking the outside line. She, is ha she has the cover, which is obvious because everybody is really trying to block her. But in the meantime, Fletcher takes advantage of that uh, confusion and the fact that two blockers are out uh, of their uh, blocking position and then uh, she could she can easily pass by. But then not that easy because when the wall is actually reset, they are uh, pretty strong in holding her. Not long enough though. Good offense there done by uh, number 19 from Paris. That is Jack. What a great name. Easily to 
remember easily to pronounce. Thank you, Jack, for your great name. So, uh, we had a star pass in that last jam, but still the points go uh, to Windsor. One, uh, zero to 10 for Windsor. That brings our points differential up to eight. That's really close. That's like, I can taste the victory, but not eat it. And then, uh, wow, nice offensive work there done by 91 Fletcher. Oh, she is playing pivot now. I shouldn't have said anything. It's my uh, announcer's thing, probably. Good work there by 69, trying to push the jammer out. Oh, staying in bounds like a pro, number 13, Bolu, who is jamming for, for Paris. <coughs> I'm sorry. Number 10, Tash Bendikut is battling that wall for Paris. Great work there done by the Parisian wall. Look at that tripod. Like, it's almost too much for everyone. 91 pushing her jammer through no pack situation. Very difficult, very big spread out a pack. Oh, but no pack is called. Yay, 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 yay. Tash Bendikuch is through. Strong offense by the inside. Number 13 does not hesitate. And she has it. Timney tries to get her on the outside, but she was already calling. So good work. Good, good work. That brings uh, the differential up a bit, and uh, the lead is still more and more in favor of Paris uh, with that last jam. So four points for Paris, zero points for Windsor. 102, we have our first team over the 100 margin. That took a while, people, and uh, 90 points for Windsor. Battling it out now is uh, our number 31 for Paris. Uh, Zipia, she has been jamming for a while, and 112, Fletcher. Quick sw switch from, from defense to offense, and a quick call. So that's four points scored for Paris, Les Quattes de Paris. Good work, nicely done, 106 for Paris and 90 for Windsor. On the jammer line now, we have Rosie Rocket Pants. She has not jammed. She has jammed once, but she was a pivot then. And now she's jamming. And, uh, but the lead is a quick lead and the happy lead to a number two, uh, Flesh McQueen. She was uh, showing her th tongue like, oh yeah, that's what I did. Look at me go, mom. And she passes all. Oh, calls it just a little too late because that is one point for Windsor. But maybe she thinks that it's not too late and she thinks I did a great job. Four to one for that last jam, 91 for Windsor, 110 for Paris, 18 minutes on the clock. This is good roller derby. Okay, I was waving at some people behind the camera. And um, quick game, a lot of confusion. Wow, wow, wow. Number 31 smashes through Zipia. And then 112 Fletcher battling that last wall for uh, from Paris. That 69 though, you should see her recycling. She's so good at it, it makes my feet Tremble. It's uh, she hits them out, recycles them up all the way to the back. She's like, mm, yeah, girlfriend. Look, sit. I'm saying it, and it's happening. To the new jammer, that is two, two, two. Uh, that is Riley Cyrus. Good offensive work there by the previous jammer, Fletcher. And uh, number 31 is uh, skating her way past, enjoying some good offense. 
on the outside, passing very, very low, scoring the full five points, four points, I'm sorry. And uh, brings our total up to, no, scoring two points. Yeah, I'm sorry. Brings our total up to three points. Brings our total up to eight to not for that last jam for 31. Zepir, uh, who is a very strong jammer, uh, a very convincing jammer. 118 for Paris and 91 for Windsor. We have jamming now Machine Gun Betty for three, six. A quick reset on the, in the front against the jammer Timmy 91. No longer pivot, but she is a jammer. And then Machine Gun Betty is through. She star stashed for a little while. Tim, Timzy, Timney. Passing all of the players, but does not call it off. Leaving it up to Machine Gun Betty to also score some points. In the meantime, they are filling up the penalty box. Two for Paris, one for Windsor. That and also the pivot of Paris is in the penalty box. And then, on the general line now for, uh, we have number three, 31 Blampied or Blampied. I am really not sure and I really should not pronounce her name anymore, but I can't help myself. Quick lead for two, six, eight. Two loops. It's been a while since I saw her jam. Good, good. I like, I like it. I like it. Pushing, star stashing, Glampied number 31, blue. Passing away. Quick, nice recycling to the front by nine, three, three, three. Uh, but they're really close up together. And 31 pushes hard enough and uh, makes the Parisian jammer call it off. That is five to naught for that last jam. 127 for Paris, 98 for Windsor. This is a bigger difference than we had in the beginning. And uh, as I said, the game is not played until it's played, until there is final on that board. I will keep on believing that everything is possible, but Paris is not to be messed with. That's for sure. Uh, an official review has been called. A little bit of problems with the points maybe did it work didn't it work well i know one thing we have sponsors one of them is belighted they have provided the great nso shirts this weekend the ones you see where it uh, has been wear worn by the official who uh, now calls off the official review and calls in the jam See what happens next. We have number 10 on the general line, Touch Bandicoot for Windsor. And of course, uh, Zipir, number 31 for Paris. She is an agile jammer, but not agile enough to fight against the strong Touch Bandicoot. Oh! Too bad that start pass did not work because our jammer went, our new pivot jammer went out. That's number two. Flush McQueen. Four runs penalty for a blocker for Windsor. That's number 72. Sarah Connor. And it's a power jam. Yeah, it is. Taj Bandicoot got herself a penalty. I don't know which one because I was looking at my paper. I am terribly sorry. And, uh, but in the meantime, Flash McQueen is making the most of this situation, trying to score as many points as possible. 130 points in, on the board for now, 80, 68 for Windsor. They could really use a power gym. 
Oh, smack to the floor. Ta Flash McQueen going there, che pushing that wall. Timney is not really that impressed, but she manages to stay inbounds, which is great. And uh, she goes away. Taj Bradley could go using that confusion uh, and uh, that quick set up when you come from the penalty box. And she uh, ooh, pushes her. Wow. Wow. I, I didn't even know what I was saying. Taj Bandicoot got another penalty, a forearms penalty. Number 91 is also going to the penalty box. Number 72 is also going to, penalty, to the penalty box. Windsor is bleeding. Another penalty, another jam against, uh, another power jam against now their jammer is frozen in the penalty box together with two blockers and their pivot. This means that the next jam will start with a Power start, two blockers, and a full wall, no, a three wall for Paris, and a jammer. So, we'll see what happens next. In the meantime, Paris is making the most out of this situation, and they are using their time right. We have 164, 146, I am terribly sorry, for Paris. And 103, Windsor finally managed to get past that 100 barrier. That was pretty difficult. And they are on 103. 43 points differential. That's quite a lot now in the past, in that last moments of the game. 12 point differential, uh, 12 minutes on the clock. A timeout called. But the timeout is finished. It is on. Anything can happen, really. Still, 43 is not the end of the world. I've seen larger leaps happen, but it's got to happen now. Not tomorrow. Not like yesterday. Now. On the jammer line for our French team is uh, Machine Gun Betty. She has to battle that two wall. Goes for the link, good one, and scores lead. The jammer for is for uh, Windsor is standing up. That means that she can go on to penalty on. Nice, good offensive work there done by Windsor, pushing the outside line, getting them uh, a little bit by surprise. Well done by Gravy. And uh, they call off the jam. An empty penalty box. A refreshing new start. Six points scored there by Paris. 152 for Paris. But there is still love. Derby, derby, love. Derby, 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 love. An official review is called. So, uh, number 17, who is apparently the captain for Paris, goes uh, to the in to the uh, to the pa to the official. Oh my, I'm sorry. To the officials and number 40, who is Hips and Gravy, is also going to the officials. I'm going to try and figure out what they are seeing by just looking at them. Okay, I can't because the coach is standing with his back to me. Thanks for that. We have an empty penalty box, so I'm wondering what the penalty will be, what the penalty will be, what they ask. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows? And uh, I am going to give you some more of our great sponsors because we have Berti Shops. They are providing nice local beer for this weekend. I told you this before. It's not really something the people from the live stream would like to know. 
but it's something that I like to know, which is good, which is good, which I like, which I like. Arkinapolis, uh, it's a cine, cinema theater down the street in Romba, Belgium. They have also contributed to, to making this tournament a reality. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Skate Run would also like to thank the Provence of Namur and the Floret Sport Centre for their investment and trust they put into this tournament. Isn't that nice? People trusting each other, people being nice and such. Ah, I love it. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. I'm sorry, I'm singing this uh, last part. It is my final game to announce this weekend. I am uh, slowly but surely burning off all the cells in my brain to make this work. So, who knows? 11 more minutes to go. 152 on for Paris. 103 on the board for Windsor. Points differential of 49. It's the furthest the teams have been apart, I think. So, as I said before, it's starting to get, like, if the teams are really strong and uh, if they are equally strong, it becomes a mental game. And when it becomes a mental game, it's really hard and you can struggle really a lot by uh, having... Um, you, get, you, you get to see which team is mentally prepared to actually face it off. In this case, I think Paris is... They never gave up the lead. The lead has never changed. Although it came close, they never changed. I don't know what the official review was about, and I don't think someone would tell me. So let's just ignore that ever happened, shall we? I don't, it, nothing happens, so no one in the penalty bar works, or no points from the board. So anything can happen, like Fletcher taking lead in close pursuit by two, two six, eight for Paris who is knocked like a like an egg to the to the oops. like chupa chups oh she calls off the jam scoring did she score points we'll see two points granted to Windsor um, brings their points up to 105. Timney on the general line. And look how, I think that's really awesome how that uh, Gemma for Paris works. Like she always checks with the wall if everything is fine. And then she whoop, chup, 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 on the inside. Like it is nothing. Oh, 31 uh, is the zippy. Uh, and now Timney is coming closer and closer. A lot of falling over and over. But two points were, three points were scored for, Fran for Paris. I always want to say France. <laughs> They're not Team France. They are Team Paris though. Les Quat. De Paris. So. <laughs> I like to pronounce it like that. Les Quat de Paris. And uh, of course, they are playing the Royal Windsor Roller Girls. Number 10. Oh, what a weird and strange fall that was. But no biggie. Tash Bandicoot is not impressed. And uh, even though it was a little bit weird, she's like, whatever. Another full penalty box for Windsor. Tash Bandicoot battling them on the outside line, being recycled back. Uh, but she calls it off before 4-3-6 can score. Uh, that is Machine Gun Betty. Oh, but she did score points. Well, three it is then. Three to Paris, two to Windsor. One, five, eight. One hundred and fifty-eight for Paris. Oh, three points for Windsor. One hundred and eight for Windsor. Fifty points differential between the two teams. 
We'll see what happens next. The jammer line is for Windsor, but the Parisian block, uh, the Parisian uh, jammer pushes her out, out of the way. Fletcher looks a bit startled. So many people on the, in the penalty box, like what? So, so the jammer only has to push like, okay, no, now they're three. They weren't, they were one. Oh, oh, looks a bit painful all of a sudden. Yes, call it off when it's that confusing. Like we had a complete full penalty box and then we, uh, so we had a complete full penalty box and then everybody came out and I was like, eh, where do all these people come from? That's what I was thinking. So for, for Paris, zero to Windsor, 162 against 108. Seven minutes on the clock. Oh, strong and hard work. Number two, Flash McGuin takes it off. Small issue on the track, uh, but that is no problem at all. We will see what these teams are made of. So the, we have a little bit of time on our hands. Um, Royal Windsor Roller Girls are on the flat track, flat track stats for Europe on the 78th place in Europe. Uh, the Les Quatre de Paris are on place, on the flat track, sorry, 45. If we were to uh, uh, like say something and see what happens or whatever, that means that this score is kind of logical. But even still, it means that the Royal Windsor uh, Roller Girls are, are playing a tough game because uh, that's uh, 40 points. Uh, no, that's so that's I don't know how much, but that's uh, a lot of places. 20, 30, 30, 33 places in the ranking on the flash track sets. So remember that all of these games are WFTDA, so uh, they're sanctioned, I think. So we'll see what happens. And we're off again. No more official review, no more talking about flat track stats. It is on. Six, seven minutes still on the clock. Flush McQueen against Tash Bandicoot on the jammer. A lot of confusion. This happens a lot in this game. Like everybody keeps pushing and pulling, and I don't know where to watch anymore. Like, what do I have to see? Flash McQueen passing, pulling, and pushing. Trash Bandicoot trying to follow her offense, but the offense is not strong enough. So number 17 recycles her back, but the wall stays together. Lead goes to Flash McQueen. 1-1-1 uh, one, one, off with a clockwise block. Uh, we have 91 in the penalty box. We'll see what that gives it, because I think uh, 91 has been in the penalty box quite a lot, so let's see what happens. Taj Benikud took off her cover and is now passed. In the meantime, yes. So number two did one scoring pass. She had to work for it, but she gathered all the points she could muster. Even the one for the Gemmer and uh, scored five to naught for Perez. That brings the points up to 167 against 108 for Windsor in uh, the advantage of Paris. L'Equat de Paris. Tough, tough start. Two tripod walls, no, uh, no extra player to do offense. But it is two, six, eight. Chulao who takes the lead. In close pursuit is Fletcher, one, one, two. And uh, they are both pushing and pushing to get there. But two, six, eight. Oh, did she score a point? No, she didn't. Too bad. Uh, 
a little bit of confusion there. Sometimes the player thinks they have points and then the ref thinks they don't. And in the end, the ref is in charge. So no points were given in that last jam. How fast and how beautiful that might have looked. Uh, so we have Timney as a jammer pushing. Wow, she's really strong and uh, taking lead. <coughs> against uh, 31, uh, that is Zipir, uh, who is in close pursuit. Timzy go Timney going for it at one point and calling it off. So not to one uh, for Windsor. What strength that was in the beginning, like how she pushed and pushed and pushed. Like no one even knew where the beginning and the, the end were of the, of the track, I believe. That went so fast. Now we're looking at Tash Bandikut on the track. And uh, number 82. Mortadel uh, jamming. I don't think she jammed today. She has been. Uh, she has star stat, star passed. <laughs> Cutting the track penalty for eight two, uh, but she is not lead. So lead is still open. She, lead was called after her penalty, so lead is still open. So the jammer for. Oh no, she cannot because she took her jammer cover off. So sometimes it's, it's better to wait just a little bit longer to take the cover off because if they don't have lead yet or they lose lead, you can still be lead. Cutting the track penalty for number 10, uh, who is the jammer? So that means we will have a switch of power jam really, really quickly. So it's a, a bit of struggle and 82 is gone. Mortadelle! With kitties on her pants, ready to slay this. Nice offensive work there, beautifully done by the blockers. Sweeping it clear that inside line, so much space that for Mortadelle it was not even a question where to go. It was beautifully done, nice, nice, nice work by the, her blockers, who are all ready now for Tej who is standing in the penalty box. But Mortadelle is still battling. And she uh, she did it to the, to the ref, like out of play. And then 40, uh, Miss Gravy kept on pushing, pushing, pushing. And so she did to the ref, like, what? And the ref said, OK, that is indeed a penalty. Mortadelle passed again. And a star pass to Riley Cyrus. Calling off the jam, 10 to not for Paris. 177 against 109 for Windsor. One minute on the panel on the board. Two blockers for Windsor in the penalty box. One blocker in the penalty box for Paris. Until now, I don't have. I haven't seen a fallout. Although there were quite a lot of penalties, especially in the beginning. So. Timney on the jammer line uh, next to mm, two, six, eight, uh, two low. Mm. Timney stuck behind that wall and being recycled by the pivot of Paris. That pivot does some incredible work there uh, doing uh, the recycling. Something tells me that the Parisian team has worked on recycling and reforming. Like we all do, but they're really good at it. So. Kudos to the people who give them practice. Maybe they do it themselves. Well, they're doing it good. That was 9-2 not for Paris. Uh, 185 for Paris. L'Equat de Paris. 109 for Windsor. No timeout was called. No official review was called. So this will be the end of game five for today.